Sexism? Check. Racism? Check. Homophobia and self-hatred? Check. Transphobia? Check. All those things are just fine. No problem. As long as someone doesn't say that they're a racist, sexist, homophobic, or uh, transphobic, then, you know, it's all fine. Now, if they say they are, well, then that means they are, and therefore they're bad. But if they say that they're not those things, then that must mean they're not those things. So someone can say all the homophobic, racist, sexist, transphobic things that they want, and those things are considered, you know, well, it's acceptable. Because they're saying true things in a number of other areas. Now, granted, nobody's going to agree with everything everyone says. But there's a certain point where it's just like there are so many negative things that you completely disagree with that you just think are abhorrent that the things that you do agree with end up not really being worth it. Well, in the situation of Milo, I don't think it would matter how, you know, little homophobia, how little uh, sexism, how little racism, how little transphobia he had in him. The fact that he seems to have a positive view of man-boy love, uh, that makes, you know, anything else he says, no matter how much they agree with, that makes everything else he says just not acceptable anymore. Just forget it. Let's, let's not pay any attention to it anymore. And it's just interesting, you know, the lines that someone can't cross, but then all the other lines that someone can cross, oh yeah, that's okay. Yes, yeah, sexism's okay. Uh, uh, racism's okay. Homophobia is okay. Transphobia is okay because, you know, as long as he's not actually going out and calling for, for, to, to, put harm onto those people, then, you know, it's fine. And as long as he says that he's not those things, then it's fine too. And so he can have those beliefs. And if people don't want him to speak at colleges as a result, well, that's just terrible. That's censorship. And before uh, this pedophilia thing was found out, even though, you know, or reintroduced, because it's been known since last year. If this hadn't been found out yet, and he would have lost his book deal, um, you'd be screaming bloody murder. Oh, how dare the SJWs and all this sort of thing. But now, one thing, one thing that uh, Milo stands for that you disagree with, and oh, it's terrible. Oh, let's ban him. Oh, the CPAC can ban him and it's fine. The, you know, the, his book deal can be canceled and that's fine. Because he has a position that we disagree with and therefore, and we find it terrible. Oh, so now the rules have changed. Now, you know, when, when the shoe's on the other foot, you know, it's suddenly, it's all different. You can have these major double standards and it's somehow okay. Really, really bad for the left to not want someone to have all this say and get all this attention. But the right, you know, if the right disagrees with something and the right finds something important, well, now censorship is totally cool. It's totally fine. It's all great. But to me, it shouldn't work that way. If you're going to hold these standards, then you need to hold them all the way across the board. Now, I don't hold those standards. I'm still kind of mixed. I am riding the fence on the subject of, of censorship. You know, I was more on the side of censorship before a number of people left comments and they made sense. 